Today, I want to talk about how you can unstuck your stuck transactions on the Ethereum network. When we are sending a transaction and we don't provide enough gas. So in this video, I want to talk about the different methods and I want to get started with an actual transaction that we're sending off and having not enough gas. Let me start a transaction in MetaMask and uh, show you directly how you can fix slow transactions within MetaMask. So I'm going to send a transaction between my accounts here. Let me just send this uh, from this account to that account and I'm on the Ethereum mainnet here. So it's not, I'm not on a testnet, I'm on an actual mainnet. So I'm going to uh, pick the, the slow option here and I just sent uh, what do I send? 0 0.1 ETH from one account to the other. And we go to the activity. And I can actually open that up on Etherscan. So you see that is pending, and Etherscan already tells me a oh, wait with a 150 free GUI. That, by the way, this transaction costs uh, around $12 or $11.76. Um, that will take uh, over one hour to actually get that confirmed and mined. One thing that I wanted to show you on Etherscan before we are getting started is the gas tracker that I'm using quite extensively so you can see as of the current transactions. So the one that are historical transactions, we know that the last ones provided um, 175 GUE and got mined within 30 seconds. The ones that provided 160 GUE got mined within around four minutes and let's say five minutes. And the ones that uh, that provided 150 GUE, uh, they needed around 16 minutes to get mined. Now that one is a historical view of things. That doesn't tell you how much a transaction that you maybe provide 175 GUE now it doesn't guarantee that this transaction is getting mined within the next 30 seconds. Right now for every block, it's an auctioning system that is happening there. That doesn't guarantee, uh, that doesn't, you cannot forecast how much gas uh, price will be in the next block because that depends on the other participants in the network. Now that is pretty long and I don't want to wait so long. Uh, eventually the gas prices go up and it's not over one hour, maybe it's 24 hours or I don't know half a year, there is no expiration date for a transaction. And every other transaction that I'm going to send after this one will be pending until this transaction is mined. Why? Because of the nonce. So this transaction is transaction number three from this account. And uh, we, well, the next transaction will be transaction number four and five. So they cannot be mined unless number three has been mined. So they stack up and you can see this quite a bit that people are sending more and more transactions, but because one of the transactions is getting stuck before, uh, all of the other ones will be pending as well. So we have to fix this somehow. And there are two options on the Ethereum network. That is, number one is we can cancel the transaction. Number two is we can update the transaction. And the way we do that is by sending the same transaction with the same nonce, but with a different parameter here, then you can update a transaction. Or if you uh, null the transaction with the same nonce, then you cancel the transaction. So let me try what happens here if I go directly into MetaMask and hit cancel. I just hit save. And I'm going to cancel the transaction. And what you can see here is that I have a second transaction pending normally. So I have two transactions pending here. And when I open both up as a detailed view, let me do this in a separate tab, then you see that uh, Etherscan already tells us the status is a duplicate nonce. We found one other duplicate pending transaction with the same from account nonce. And in this one, that is the other one that we are basically sending to ourselves but with zero ether and we basically just cancel it out and it's going to be a canceled transaction. Because we provided more gas over here, that transaction will be mined within the next four to seven minutes uh, or so. 
but the idea behind this is really to send the same nonce uh, from the same account, but with updated, uh, yeah, with updated uh, value, with updated data, uh, and so on, to either cancel or update the transaction. Now, four to seven minutes, I think we can do faster than that. So why don't, up, why don't we update the cancellation uh, transaction? And we can do that for MetaMask as well. We have a nice button over here. So we're going to update this one to, let's say, over here, uh, 409 GUI. Wow, that is really a lot. Let's see what the gas tracker tells us. You see gas is going up quite rapidly. Right now something is happening on Uniswap or so, and I don't really care what is going on, but I just want to have this canceled because I really send it to the wrong person, let's say, or I just want to have it have it gone. So I just, yeah, let's try, send this off. And what will happen is that we have now free transactions and the last one is now mined because we provided uh, quite a lot of uh, GUI, 195 GUI, and it already got baked in a block. That was a cancellation transaction. And we can see that over here that all the others are gone. So when I still have this opened here, it's dropped and replaced. And the other one, when I reload, is also dropped and replaced by another transaction hash. Okay, that was the easy method. Uh, that is if you have your transaction in MetaMask and you started everything from MetaMask, okay, MetaMask knows about this transaction and you can just go in and, and click a nice button to either speed up the transaction or cancel the transaction. But what if you don't have a MetaMask transaction? How can you do it then? There's also a way. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to send another transaction from MetaMask, but this time I'm providing really low gas and I'm going to clear my MetaMask history so that I don't have the options to speed up or cancel any transactions from within MetaMask. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it manually. So I'm going to send another transaction from my account two to my account one, uh, again, 0.1 ETH. And I'm going to provide two GUI, which is extremely low, uh, but let's say I had a typo or I used an external tool for that. And I'm going to hit next and confirm. It takes a while until it's actually cutting into the transaction pool. Let's give it a moment until it's in the transaction pool and I'll be back when it pops up. Okay, now we have our transaction over here and I'm going to reset my MetaMask just that this one completely disappears. Settings, advanced, and you don't have to do that. So this is just uh, something that I want to demonstrate. Uh, now my MetaMask doesn't know that I actually send the transaction over here. And I don't have these uh, shiny buttons over here in MetaMask to actually speed up or cancel the transaction, but I can still do that. And I use an external tool for that. I'm going to use, so I'm going to use my Ether wallet for that. And the way you can do it in my Ether wallet is to generate an offline transaction to either cancel a transaction or update a transaction. So I'm going to access my wallet and I'm going to use uh, MetaMask. Yeah, accept and access my wallet. And then I have to say yes and then connect. So now I connected my wallet. And also over here, I don't really see, or I don't know if there is an option to actually speed up a transaction. So I have to go to send and then send offline. And I want to cancel the transaction. If you want to update the transaction, you have to enter the same amount at the same to address. If you have data, uh, interact with a smart contract, then the same data, same gas but also the same nonce as you had it in your transaction over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the transaction. So how to cancel the transaction? I use the nonce. I provide zero value, zero data. Uh, the data will be empty and also no to address. 
So same nonce. Gas limit can be uh, 21,000, which is the so-called gas dependent. Uh, this is used if you have no data, then that is the minimum amount of gas that is burned by the blockchain. Uh, no to address, no amount, and oh, sorry, the to address must be my own address. And then generate the transaction. I hit confirm. And this time I provide 177 GUI. I have my transaction over here in MetaMask now, and it should be popping up in Etherscan every second. So let's just wait a little bit. And also Etherscan should tell me then that my transaction, my old one, is actually being updated by a new one. All right, so we have um, our transaction over here and we know it is uh, pending, but it's also another transaction with the same account nonce. And because our transaction over here will be mined first, that means uh, within five to nine minutes, this transaction will be canceled. If I send some uh, you know, ether to a, a wrong account, or uh, if my my data is stuck, all I have to do is provide more GUI and get my transaction mined before the other one. And then the other one will automatically be canceled. Let me close this over here and just show you what is going on. So we have our old transaction that we sent with 0.1 ETH and two GUI. Uh, that will take probably longer than 59 minutes. I guess it will probably be never mined anymore uh, on Ethereum. And that one will be mined within five to nine minutes, I guess. Or two to eight minutes, depends on the gas that is currently in use uh, within uh, the transactions. And it is a success, we have it mined and the other one should be canceled now and dropped and replaced. Yeah, those are the two methods uh, that you can use to update or cancel transactions. Updating transactions means you have to put in the same values as you had in your transaction over here uh, to send offline and put the same amount, the same to address. If you interacted with a smart contract, you can conveniently copy the input data over here and just put it in over here. And uh, the gas limit, I would use the same gas limit that uh, you used before. Uh, gas limit over here was 21,000. If you interact with smart contracts, it will be obviously higher because you need uh, the gas to uh, interact with the smart contract to execute the computational instructions and then uh, just generate uh, the transaction and MetaMask will pop up and ask you to sign the transaction and send it off to the network. All right, this is how it's done and I will see you in one of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and you know hit the little bell so you get informed when there's a new video also let me know in the comments if this was helpful and if you want to see any other videos that help you to succeed on the blockchain